Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from the new Buttrick School cookbook of Cornell University's Home Economics Department in 1924, we're going to be making the tuna fish sandwich. That's right, not tuna fish, tuna fish. One word. First, we've got to butter our toast. So I want you to keep in mind there are no amounts given, and these are the instructions written in the recipe. On one piece, mayonnaise. That's right, mayonnaise on top of butter. And lettuce and tuna fish. Canned, of course. Season that with a little salt, pepper, and lemon juice. More lettuce, more mayonnaise, and bacon. Okay, let's give this tuna fish sandwich a go. I don't know why they didn't call this a tuna club sandwich, because this is clearly a club sandwich. Mayonnaise, bacon, lettuce, um, you know, there's no tomato, but come on. The tuna from a can, I think it's perfectly fine. I enjoy it. Here it's plussed up with a little lemon juice and salt and pepper, which is nice, brings a little brightness to it. And then we've got the smoky bacon, the rich mayonnaise, and the crunch of the toast. It's really good. I do want to plus it up though. I'm going to do a double plus up. A little avocado and some cowboy candy, aka candied jalapenos. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's give this tuna fish sandwich plussed up with avocado and cowboy candy. We'll go. Now we've got the richness of avocado, the tang, spice, and sweetness of the jalapeno with all the other flavors in here. Mm. The original tuna fish sandwich, I thought that was quite nice. I'm gonna give that a seven and a half. Um, it was delicious. You got the bacon, you got a little bit of lemon juice, the tuna, the mayonnaise, everything just worked really well together. Plussed up with the avocado and the cowboy candy. Man, that's like a nine and a half. I'm almost tempted to give it a 10. It is delicious. Uh, highly recommend you make the plussed up version. I recommend you make the original one too, but the plussed up one is quite good. All right, I'm definitely gonna finish that for lunch. I will see you tomorrow.